everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss firm supply in the short run in perfect competition. And actually, the key to it all is that the perfectly competitive firm's profit maximization decision rule is to set the quantity that they produce, that's small q, such that the price p is equal to marginal cost mc. And really, it's this decision rule that means that the firm supply will actually be equal to their marginal cost. I do have a video on this decision rule. If you need more explanation, I'll link to it in the description. To start with our explanation, though, let's just first recall that the job of a supply relationship is really to connect the price of a good to the amount that will be supplied. So the most recognizable supply relationship, I think, is the market supply curve in perfect competition. And you can see I've got one drawn here, it's upward sloping. And what it does is it connects the price, say P star, to the quantity supplied in the market, that's big Q subscript S. Our market supply equations do exactly the same thing. They understand quantity supplied in the market as a function of price. For instance, Q subscript S is equal to 30 plus P. This equation clearly relates the price in the market to the quantity supplied in the market. It's a supply equation. What we need is this sort of relationship, but not for the market, just for the firm. Once we recognize that the firm's marginal cost function is itself a function of quantity, then joining that with our decision rule that price has to be equal to marginal cost, you can see that our marginal cost gives us that relationship between the price in the market and the quantity that the firm will produce. So let's go through a quick example to demonstrate. Let's say a firm's marginal cost function is equal to 10 plus 2Q. Once we profit maximize, we set price equal to marginal cost. And we can see in these equalities, we have a relationship between the price P and the quantity that the firm supplies. So actually from this, we get the supply equation, P is equal to 10 plus 2Q. And you can note that this supply equation is equal to marginal cost, right? Lastly, we can see all of this graphically. If we draw a marginal cost curve next to our market diagram, we can see firm profit maximization as follows. In my diagram here, the price P star, we find that at the intersection of market demand and market supply, that's our price in the market, the firm will take that price as given and it will set the quantity that it produces Q star such that price is equal to marginal cost. Now, if the price changed, so maybe demand increases to D1, the price in the market would increase to P star star, the firm would change its profit maximization quantity to Q star star, again, just making sure that price is equal to marginal cost. Similarly, for lower prices, maybe demand decreases to D2, for instance, then the firm would meet that change in the price by reducing the quantity that they produce to Q prime. So if we thought about all of the possible prices that the market could produce, the firm would take those prices and maximize profit by setting their quantity such the price is equal to marginal cost. So you can see that the relationship then between the price in the market and the quantity that the firm produces can be found by tracing along our marginal cost curve. I've got that in red there. So that's what we mean when we talk about our marginal cost curve as being equal to our firm supply curve. This isn't quite the whole story though. Some prices will just be too low and the firm would be better off in those cases to not produce anything. So Q would be equal to zero. In particular, in the short run, the firm will not supply if price is less than average variable cost. So if P is less than AVC. Now, if price is less than average variable cost, the firm will shut down and Q will be equal to zero. Basically, in these cases, the firm can't cover its variable costs, which is really its lowest threshold in the short run, given that fixed costs are sunk. Uh, and so if it can't get there, the price is just too low. They're better off not, not engaging in the market. I do have a separate video where I explain the shutdown rule in detail. So I'll link to that video below in the description as well, if you're confused. Now, this all means that our firm supply diagram will actually look something like this in the short run. The firm supply will be equal to marginal cost, but only in this upper section here where our marginal cost is above or equal to average variable cost. 
So if the prices come through in this range, they will be above average variable costs, they'll be high enough and firm supply can be tracked by marginal cost. If the price is below this range, then firm supply will be equal to zero. So our supply curve will be equal to the straight line at Q is equal to zero there. So sometimes you see this line included in the description of the supply curve and sometimes not, uh, in which case it would just be implied. Now it is worth mentioning that our marginal cost curve intersects our average variable cost at its minimum. This point of intersection where marginal cost is equal to average variable cost will still be part of our supply curve for the firm, but it will be the lowest point that the price could possibly be. If the price was any lower, then our average variable cost would be higher than it. So sometimes we describe the short run supply curve for the firm as being equal to marginal cost only if it's greater than or equal to our minimum of average variable costs, and, and that's why. So that's it. I hope the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thanks to my subscribers um, so far. Hope you guys are doing well and keeping happy and safe.